it's Finot95. Hey there everyone, welcome back, it's Finot95 here. We're here doing another deck profile with some gameplay. Today I'm going to be showing you the Orbital VMAX. Now we've been having a lot of fun with this deck, it's I feel a really good spread deck. The idea is to spread as much damage as possible onto your opponent's Pokemon and with the Eerie Beam. So it says once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may put one damage counter of each of your opponent's Pokemon. You, don't, you may not think that one damage counter is not a lot, but as the game goes on, they start to stack up quite a lot. So the idea here is to start off, start off with the Snorlax that has the Gormandize. Uh, ability which means that you can draw seven cards if it is in your active but then your turn ends we want to get two maybe three or beetles in play so that we can get the orbital v max then there are, i have two tech pokemon in here the mimikyu with the shadow box uh, ability which prevents basically mewtwo uh, mewtwo and mew gx stopping their ability since we can ping them with the Eerie Beam and the Mr. Mime with the scoop up block which prevents Pokemon with damage counters on them from being scooped up like the Jirachi or anything with a, a damage counter on it that's the Pokemon so for trainers we have Lily's Pokedol because we want to be able to get into as many uh, Orbeetles as we can the Quick Ball to search out our Orbeetles to reset them this can come in handy uh, especially in the late game three switches two tech calls to get out our tech teams two two scrappers this is very important in the loop metal matchup because uh, if they have the two the metal goggles you can't ping them with the eerie beam uh, as far as stadiums go we have two turfield stadium to find the v max and one one just number it this can come in huge clutch in the late game because it helps both your attack because 50 damage for each energy on the opponent's active Pokemon and if for example in the late game you can reset them reset them, them down to one and then Wondrous Labyrinth and maybe they don't have any energy left Bird Keeper, four of them to switch around as much as possible and draw cards three bosses orders to bring up the Pokemon with the energy on them two Cynthia and Caitlyn to bring back our supporters most of the time it would be a bird keeper to Guzman Hala to find our special energy and stadium as I'll explain we have a lot of special energy uh, Melolana to heal and frustrate our opponent to Marnies as our draw supporter no research because we play enough supporters as it is and we draw enough cards to U-turn board these are very important to switch out the orbits we have four aromatic energy to prevent stuff like paralysis which is really good three capture energy to find out find our basics more often three weakness guard because we are super weak to fire and the fire basically uh, can destroy us but it can come in clutch especially against anti scorch and two basic grass so um, as far as matchups go i think a diffusation and luke metal are the toughest because of the resistance and how fast ADP can be and how resistant Luke Metal can be. I don't think Santa Scorch is that bad because they pile a lot of energy on their Santa Scorch and then we can knock them out with the Orbital V Max. And we have the Weakness Guard energy to protect us, but they have the Giratina which can remove that special energy, which might be a little bit annoying. But I think other fire decks in general will be a bit annoying to deal with in, in general. So that's the deck. Let's head into some games. So our first matchup is against Ivan. I have a Pikachu deck box. Let's see what they're rocking with. It might be the Mewtwo. Okay, so ideally we want to go first in this with this deck. Not the start we wanted, but it's not that bad. We can switch into the... Because uh, we find the Snorlax switch into it. Unfortunately, though, we don't get much else. Okay, so let's discard the Cynthia Kate. I don't think we'll need it just yet. 
grab a Snorlax. Switch into it. Because I think I will want to draw an extra card here. And Gorm and Ice. Okay, we got a Marnie. Which would help us out next turn. I'm thinking it's Pika. Okay. It might. It actually might be Pika wrong. No, it's ADP. Alright, so this matchup is a bit tough because since they can take an extra prize card, uh, it doesn't really help our situation and they'll find nothing here except maybe the Mimikyu, but I don't think that affects them that much. I don't think they'll put it down actually. I don't know. Maybe they want to fill our bench. Okay, they put it down. We can actually go Zmanhala next turn. We can two scrapper of these two. Find the capture energy. No, but that's wasting too much energy, I think. Maybe we just two scrapper and Marnie. Or maybe not even two scrapper. Okay, there's the Zamazenta. That's going to be tough to deal with. Okay, so there's a weakness guard. That's not really important in this matchup. Let's see. Do you want? What do you want? I think we can just chill for a turn. Grab the Guzmahala, grab the. I mean, use the Guzmahala, grab the uh, capture energy. I don't, I'm, don't, I'm not happy with that today. Let's just. Marnie. And see what we get. Okay, so there's an Orbeez. We get, get, did get the capture energy, which is really good. Put that down. And grab another ore beetle. And then we can. I don't think we need to grab anything else. Just put down the doll. And Gorman dies for 5. I don't want to lose my second kid since in Kate and up. Okay, let's see. Now we're in a bit of a tough spot. They will probably GX attack now. I think maybe I should have two scrapper the, in the previous turn. To make it a bit harder for them to switch out. But oh well. They're going to GX for sure. Now. And that makes it really tough quick. Because they can just knock out this, knock out this, and knock out my Snorlax. I think we'll send in Caitlyn to get back. Marnie. Okay, so there's that GX. On the U-turn board, you can attach that there. Let's and Caitlyn away the weakness guard. We won't be needing it. The Marnie. Draw three cards. Hmm. Nothing yet. So we're in a really tough spot here. We just have to do this. And I think just to scrap it away these two. The boss we're going to need, I think. So I don't really want to uh, get rid of it. Turn we can tackle for the Guzmahala, get the. Of course, going for the boss play, and this is annoying as well because now we can just boss boss. Yeah, this we're not looking good here, not at all. Because probably they will get another boss eventually. We had to, we had too much of a rough start. Here because we got okay, we're back coming on other games. Hopefully, we don't hit ADP and we get better with our draws. Let's go first. No, 
basics, but neither did they find any basics. Just the Mimikyu for us, and this is a really bad hand actually. It is the Poison Eternatus with Crushing Hammers. Or it could be Crowbat V, it has been popping up a bit recently. Well, this is a really bad hand. We need top deck like Quick Boil or Snorlax. Nope, that's not it. I hope we don't get docked this turn. There's a swell which is annoying. There's a crowbat for one. It could be a crowbat V Max actually. I don't know how we perform against this. But we'll see, we'll see. There's a bird keeper into the crowbat. Please don't donk me. I don't think they can if they play turbo patch. If they play turbo patch, they might dunk me. Yep, it is the Crowbat VMAX, okay. This is a bit annoying because they do more damage than us. Alright, so no dunk yet. Okay, there's the Snorlax. I will switch into it. Marnie here because they have a big hand. Okay, so we have the capture for another one. Get rid of the boss here. We get an orbital. Capture on it. Get another beetle. Put this here. And we get six more cards. Okay, perfect. We have the bird keeper for next turn. What we're lacking is an energy. Okay, so they found their probe at VMAX. And we get Marnie. That's annoying. That is really annoying. Okay, so we get another... <laughs> wow, okay, this hand. I don't think we'll get knocked out here. No, that, okay, so we have another turn to work with. But we will have... We get a dot. Okay, that's a good top deck. So what we can do here is put that down. Get rid of that. Play this and discard both beetles. Unfortunately, get and we don't even have our other uh, our other turf field. That's annoying, but okay. We have to deal with it. At least we can burn and dice for seven. Even though we'll be losing our uh, Snorlax next year and the Pokemon checkup. Put in the Mimikyu. We have a Bird Keeper, but no V Max, unfortunately. At least not yet. It's really unfortunate that we had to discard our beetles. But maybe I could have held the hand there and we could have put another beetle in. Because ideally you would want three orbital V maxes. The mute doesn't do anything. In fact, we're probably going to use a discard exactly. Another crowbat. And another crowbat. Okay, I'm not too particularly upset with that. Okay, we get another bird keeper. Do they have another doll in their hand? Yes, they do. Okay, so they're definitely knocking out my Mimikyu here. Grab 
the other snow leopards, they can just knock that out then. So just don't forget to be rebeat. We start getting those in Bird Keeper, hopefully for a doll. Yes, we find the doll and we find another beam, like that's really good. Yuri beam again. Okay. Like this, we have to force them to go through two of our VMAXs. Plus, we have the Malolana. Okay, so there's a Marnie, which is annoying. Crushing hammers as well. Okay, so there goes our doll, which is not ideal. So we have the boss, and they're weak to grass. No, they're fighting. They're weak to grass. Let's attach this here. And actually, since we have the aromatic, we can prevent the poison. Okay, so let's boss up this one. Uh, no. Right now we're doing 50, 100, 150. I think it's a good idea to start piling on damage as much as we can. Okay, so that gets knocked out next turn. If it's in the active. Now the unfortunate thing is here that we don't have anything to heal. Not, nothing's really going on in our hand. Okay, so they go back to the doll. But we can just knock it out with a beam next turn which would give them one less doll to work with they currently have all of their dolls I'm not sure how many they could play okay that's huge how many crushing hammers they're down two we do have another aromatic in our hand and we have another one in our deck okay so here comes the 70 any more dolls I mean if they're going to bench whatever they're looking for they won't have space for a doll ok so there's a crow bed okay, so they're, out, they're out of crow beds now if only we could find our metal land I'd rather wait to reset them, reset stamp them down to one. But this is gonna be a bit of a slow game. Because they can just keep hiding behind energy less Pokemon. But at least the good thing is that uh, we can't get poisoned. At least not for now. Thanks to the aromatic energy. Hopefully find the Melodana soon. I wonder if they'll go start going with the Max Cutter, because at this point it makes more sense. Depends on their energy, I guess. On their... Okay, so they've played 5 so far. They're learning this card. There's the capture. There's a Marnie, which we don't mind at all. Even though we hopefully don't hit hammers. Okay, so there's a bird keeper. Okay, so we can knock this out. Mm, now this is really good. Let's bird keeper into our other V Max. Okay, so there's a tech call. Here's beam again. Like 
this we can go like this they don't have any tools right so let's keep that around and knock this out just to get a prize that's a tool that's really good and the, the wondrous labyrinth what it does as well it forces the opponent to put more energy as well if they want to attack okay so they can set up a fresh crow bet here if they have it yep they do but next turn we can heal off all the damage so they can't what's it called they can't uh... okay they can that's really annoying but they took it off the wrong Pokemon, I think. No? We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so that's 140. 170 with the poison. Okay, fine. Let's put this down. Easy beam. And how many energies are we down? Just the just the aromatic. Okay, so we put that here. Get the tech call. At least finally we we'll shuffle our deck. I think I'll grab the goose one tala, so we'll find it later. It's Melulana here. Snorlax and two scrappers won't need needing those. Okay, let's see the beam again. I think we just have to hide behind the doll here. It's uh, really bad that we had to get rid of those. Uh... Okay, so that's their crushing hammer is gone at least. But now we only have one aromatic left. We're, out of, we're running out of those. How many boss do we have? We only have one boss left. How many Cynthia and Caitlyn's do we have left? We have both of them left. Okay, there's a weakness guard. Okay, so get a prize there, that's really good. Football, I think we can discard that. Mantala and they switch. I don't think we need any of those switches. In fact, don't have anything else to grab. Let's grab that. Put that there. Another E beam. This one only needs three more pings. the other aromatic energy which is annoying okay so they're bossing up my other orbito currently they can only attack with this one let's see what their plan is okay to poison so they only need one more and they gave up okay maybe they ran out of energy but that was a really good one, right? Or we get to another one. Could it be Eternatus? That Eternatus box and sleeves. We went a bit lucky with the coin flips here. Okay, that's a really good hand actually. Really, really good. Okay, so they do have coughing can capture for another orpedo and could ball a quick ball or another one and then we can garment lights Ok, 
Okay, great ball. That it's look, it's starting to look like a Tyranitus, but I'm not sure. Okay, another coughing. I think this might be the one with the Galarian wheezing that has the annoying ability of uh, all Pokemon have no abilities except. Okay, there's a Corp plan, That's fine. Yep, that's the one. Alright, so we can't use our EV beams, but what we can do is boss and do this, grab our War Beetle VMAX, we can switch into it and boss up this Eternatus here, start getting some damage onto it. Or should we knock out the wheezing? Not sure. Let's start let's start taking damage here. Switch into it like this. Start putting some Uri beams. the bird keeper for next turn okay so we're going back to the wheezing i'm assuming yep that's fine we don't get anything because of the aromatic i really don't want to marnie them get another orbit of vmax But they have a small hand, I, I hope they do. Okay, so I think I will bird keeper to draw more cards. Okay, that's good. We get an attachment for turn. Uh, I don't think that this has much use here. But okay, fine. We'll start trying to get the knockout on this. an energy because that then we could mellow lana okay so they're bossing up my other or beetle which doesn't have the effect the uh Getting the knockout on this. No energy yet. That's really bad. But we can tech call then for the Guzman Hala. Alright. Get a prize card. That's really good. Wondrous Netland. That's brilliant. This is going to Anguishing Cry. Holland, Cynthia, and Kate. We can Guzman Hall away the Snorlax and Mimic you. Grab ourselves another third field, a U turn board, and another aromatic. Put that there. Hmm. I think I will. Mm, okay, we can just easy beam. That's for sure. And we'll go into the. Fresh, the fresh, uh, 
other or beetle. And take this knockout here. We do have the Malone Lan on hand, which is really good. Get the capture energy, that's good as well. They don't have another turn that is coming up, so hopefully. Okay, so there's a reset stamp. That's annoying, but it's expected. Okay, there's a research. Okay, so they get rid of artillery field, but that's fine. We have another one in hand. I wonder how many stadiums they play. Do they play Dark City or the other one? I forget what it's called. Okay, they're probably going to crow bet here. Yes, there it is. There's another Eternatus. So they have another one for ready and waiting we do have the boss in hand but currently nothing really to uh, attack onto they play energy switch okay that's not something you see every day I was not expecting that put the turf in there we have okay so there's not our our other one is prized. So, EV beam. I think I should. Uh, actually, we can scrap it off and put it here. So, we get three beams off like this. Switch into this. Get another beam. And that would mean we get the knockout on that coughing. Another eerie beam. And that means that we only have to knock out this Eternus B Max. We can put the energy there as well. Okay, and I think we should have game here. Because we have boss in hand. They don't mining us. We can just bring up this Eternatus again and we have a, an Orbital which is ready. Okay, they're filling up their bench, probably looking for the knockout. And I think with Sable they Sable I they would have but they detached, no? Okay, so their bench is full, so the knockout is there. Alright. Now to attack with this one, but we all know we have the boss's orders in our hand. So I think we are all good. I still want to put in as much damage as I can. Retreat back into this one. Put in more energy. I mean, uh, more pings. Boss up this one. And that is game. That's going to be it from me today. I hope you enjoyed these games. I hope you're learning a lot with me. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you.